Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah. Wassalatu wassalamu ala Rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man wala. Mabad. Welcome everyone to our third session at the Wise Academy going through the sort of intermediate level Hanafi text, sort of upper beginner intermediate text of Maraqi al-Sa'adat of Imam uh, Abu al-Ikhlas Hassan al-Shurun Bulali rahmatullah alayhi a great Egyptian faqih, a great Egyptian jurist from al-Azhar al-Sharif we got up to talking about the, the ajal, the, the lifespan. And he, rahimahullah, he says, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim wa nafa'an Allahu bih. Aqtulu mayyitun bi ajli, fa idha istawfu thalik, amar Allahu ta'ala malak al-mawti bi qabdi arwahihim, fa idha dufinu yu'idu Allahu al-hayat fihim, فَيَعْقِلُونَ السُّؤَالِ وَيَقْدِرُونَ عَلَى رَدِّ الْجَوَابِ فَيَأْتِيهِمْ مَلَكَانْ مُنْكَرٌ وَنَكِيرٌ فَيُجْلِسَانَ الْمَيِّتِ فَيَقُولَانْ مَا كُنْتَ تَقُولُ فِي هَذَا الرَّجُلِ فَيَقُولُ الْمُؤْمِنُ هُوَ عَبْدُ اللَّهِ وَرَسُولُهُ أَشْهَدُ أَنْ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهُ وَأَنَّ مُحَمَّدًا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صلى الله عليه وآله وصحبه وسلم فيقولان قد كنا نعلم أنك تقول هذا ثم يفسح له في قبره سبعون ذراعا في سبعين ثم ينور له فيه ثم يقال له نم فيقول ارجع إلى أهلي فأخبرهم فيقولان نم كنوم العروس الذي لا يوقظه إلا أحب أهله فيكون فيكون به حتى يبعث يبعثه الله من مضجعه ذلك فيقول المنافق سمعت الناس يقولون قولا فقلت مثله لا ادري فيقولان قد كنا نعلم انك تقول ذلك فيقال الارض التئمي عليه فتلتئم عليه فتختلف اضلاعه فلا يزال فيها معذبا حتى يبعثه الله من مرجعه حتى يبعثه الله تعالى من مرجعه ذلك The section reads everyone everyone completes his own lifespan والمقتول ميت بأجله A person dies only because of the ajal nothing else It's only because of the ajal and the mind cannot fathom how it is that the ajal is the cause of death by right? the appointed time. All the mind can come to the conclusion is that cause and effect is not necessary in this world. Cause and effect is not necessary in this world. So uh, to know what, the, uh, what is the cause of death and what we are informed by wahi, by revelation, is that the cause of death is the ajal, the ajal expiring. So when, when the person's lifespan expires, that is the cause of their death. So it is a matter from the ghayb. It is a matter from the ghayb. So it, when someone's lifespan is completed, and, um, and let's say... Uh, his appointed time comes and that person dies, or if that person is killed, then it's not the killing that is the cause, the act of killing, whether that's a stabbing or a shooting or something like that. Rather, it's the ajal itself expiring or ending that is the cause of death. When that happens, the, uh, the Sheikh Rahimahullah, he says, Amar Allah Ta'ala Malak al Mawti bi Qabdi Arwahihim. Then Allah orders the angel of death to seize the soul. Angel of death to take the soul. And when a person is then buried, فَإِذَا دُفِنُوا يُعِيدُ اللَّهُ الْحَيَاةَ فِيهِمْ فَيَعْقِلُونَ السُّؤَالِ وَيَقْدِرُونَ عَلَى رَدِّ الْجَوَابِ 
when that happens, when they are placed in their grave or when they are buried, Allah returns life to that body such that they are able to comprehend the questions that are put to them and they're able to answer or respond to the questions that are put to them. For yatihim malakan, two angels will, will then come to him or her and their name is Munkar and Nakir. They will sit next to, uh, they will make the, the buried person sit up. For Yujilisan, Al Mayita, for Yakulan. They'll make that person, they prop him up or her up, and they will then ask, Ma kunta taqul fi hadha rajul. What, what dost thou say? Us? I mean, what do you say regarding this man? Hadha rajul, this man. And this man, of course, is referring to our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa azwajihi wa sahabihi wa sallam, Mr. Sliman Kathir. They will say, فيقول, if it's a mu'min, فيقول المؤمن, if it's a true believer, the true believer will say, this man, هذا الرجل, sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahabihi wa sallam, he is the abd of Allah, he is the true servant of Allah. And he is, and he is his messenger. And I bear witness that there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah. And that Muhammadan sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallama is Allah's messenger. And then the two angels will say, we knew you were going to say that. We knew you were going to give that reply to us. ثُمَّ يُفْسَحُ لَهُ فِي قَبْرِهِ سَبْعُونَ ذِرَاعًا فِي سَبْعِينَ And then what's going to happen, given that following that response, is that the, the, the grave of that person will expand by 70 cubits or 70 arms length, either way. And then, um, then it will be, it'll be poured in with light. It'll be expanded and it'll be um, ennobled with light. It'll be filled with light. It will be then said to that person, Num, sleep. Sleep. And then he then then the person who's been asked to sleep after they've been questioned and then their their grave expanded and, and filled with light, that person will ask, shall I return to my family and let them know of this of this news of what has happened? Shall I uh, inform them of this outcome? Then the angels will reply, Numka Nomila Arus. Sleep like the, um, uh, the, the newly wedded bride who isn't woken up except by someone who is dear and close to them or beloved to them. The servant will then uh, remain in that state until Allah resurrects him or her from that comfortable place that they're in. فَيَكُونُ بِهِ He'll be in that state, that حَال حَتَّى يَبْعَثَهُ اللَّهُ مِنْ مَضْجَعِهِ He'll be in that place, that abode, that sort of um, temporary uh, placement until Allah raises uh, him up or her in resurrection. So what will happen then to the opposite of a true believer, like the worst the worst of them, the munafiq, the hypocrite. What will happen to him or her? المنافق, what the munafiq will say, سَمِعْتُ النَّاسَ يَقُولُونَ قَوْلًا فَقِلْتْ مِثْلَهُ لَا أَدْرِي this, this person will say, this hypocrite will say, you know, because he's going to be asked, what do you know regarding this man, Ay Muhammad, صلى الله عليه and then this hypocrite will say, um, I heard some people you know, mention, mentioning some things about this, this man. I heard some people mentioning something about this man. So I said the same thing. I don't really know. I, I don't really know. 
And then both the angels will say, We knew that you were, you were going to say that reply. Then it will be said to the earth, Constrict him. Crush him. And then the earth will do that. It will be, be constricted so much it's as if like his ribs are popping out. Oh, no, not as if his ribs will pop out. And that hypocrite, he or she will be in that state of constriction. Not expansion, but constriction. Uh, so when from that madja, from that madja, from that abode, that place, that resting place, or that area, he's going to be in that constricted condition, punished uh, as a form of punishment until Allah raises the person up on the day of resurrection. Then it says, وَالسُّؤَالُ لِكُلِّ مَيِّتٍ صَغِيرٍ أَوْ كَبِيرٍ يُسْأَلْ إِذَا غَابَ عَنِ الْآدَمِيِّينَ وَلَوْ فِي جَوْفِ سَبْعٍ أَوْ غَرِقَ فِي الْبَحَرِ وَالْأَصَحُّ أَنَّ الْأَنْبِيَاءَ لَا يُسْأَلُونَ وَالسُّؤَالُ بَعْدَ إِعَادَةِ الرُّوحِ إِلَى الْجَسَدِ لِيُجِيبَ السُّؤَالَ مُنْكَرِ مُنَكِيرِ من النار قد أبدلك الله تعالى مقعدا من الجنة فيراهما جميعا ويقال الكافر والمنافق ويقال الكافر والمنافق عند قوله لا أدري لا دريت ولا تليت يضرب بمطرقة من حديد ضربة so he says here, Rahimahullah, was su'al li kulli mayyitin sahirin aw kabir. Everyone, whether big or small, young or old, will be questioned. Yeah, everyone will be, every person, every dead person, every person who's died, whether young or old, will be questioned. This will include. This includes يُسْأَلْ إِذَا غَابَ عَنِ الْآدَمِيِّينَ وَلَوْ فِي جَوْفِ السَّبْعٍ أَوْ غَلِقَ فِي الْبَحْرِ Even those who have been um, eaten by or in the body of, of, a, of a predator like a lion or something like that or drowned in, in, in the sea, they will still be questioned. No one will escape questioning. So how a person dies has nothing to do with whether they're going to be questioned. But the MBA, according to the stronger, the more correct opinion, is that they will, they will not be questioned. They will not be questioned in their grave. And the questioning occurs after the soul is conjoined or reunited with the body. When Allah reconnects the soul to the body, the person then is able to ask the, answer the questions or begin answering the questions from Munkar and Naki, the two angels, that will ask about um, who one's Lord is, one, what one's religion is, and who is one's prophet. So after the believer responds, um, once a believer responds, they'll say, look at what your abode, look at your seat, look at your place in hellfire. Allah has replaced it with a, a, a place in Jannah, a seat in Jannah. So the believer sees both where he would have been and where he's heading towards. He sees both destinations, both maqad. And it will be said to the, to the kafir, to the disbeliever, and to the hypocrite, the worst of them, 
um, when the when that so when when the hypocrite says la adri I don't know when when that when the the hypocrite or the, or the, or the non-Muslim responds with those with those words la adri I do not know then the angel says la darayta wa la talayt yeah you didn't know we knew you didn't know and you never recited anything anyway you never recited any of the Quran in your life so they'll be struck once. Um, with an iron hammer. And that strike will bring out such a shriek and such a scream for yasma'uha ghayru thaqalain. Um, anyone other than the men and jinn, the, the, the thaqalain, the two who have been burdened with the responsibility, those who are free creatures, leave, you know, other than them, uh, you know, other than those two, everything can, can hear that scream, that shriek, that bellow. And then after the, the mentioning of the qabr, uh, the what will happen, the questioning that will happen in the grave, Imam Ashurun Bilali mentions, وَعَذَابُ الْقَبْرِ حَقٌ لِلْكُفَّارِ وَلِبَعْضِ الْعُصَادِ مِنَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَنَعِيمُ الْقَبْرِ حَقٌ لِمَنْ يَشَاءَ اللَّهِ سبحانه وتعالى وفي دعاء الإحياء وصدقاتهم منفعة للأموات من المؤمنين. The punishment of the grave is real, it's true for the disbeliever and for some of the sinful believers. So those who are disobedient believers, there will be a punish for them, a punishment for them in the grave. Um, and then Naim wa Naim al Qabr haqqun li man yasha Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the bliss in the grave is also a reality for whomever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wills it for. And there is benefit in praying or supplicating for the deceased. Al Ahya, dua al Ahya, the dua of the living benefits the deceased. The believing deceased. Donating good acts of reward on the dead is also something uh, that will take place and valid. Uh, then he says. رحمه الله وحشر الأجساد وإحياؤها يوم القيامة حق ويعطى المؤمن كتابه بيمينه والكافر بشماله ويوضع الميزان بما يعرف به مقادير الأعمال من خيره وشره ويوضع صراط على متن جهنم تمر عليه الخلائق فمنهم البرق ومنهم كالريح ومنهم كالجواد المسرع ومنهم كالماشي ومنهم كالنملة يدب على حسب درجاتهم وهذا بعد هول المؤمن then he says وحشر الأجساد and bodily resurrection resurrection and إحياؤها bringing them back alive on the day of judgment is a reality and is true is a reality and it's true. Um, the believer will be given kitabahu bi yaminihi wal kafir bi shimalihi. The believer will be given his book of deeds in his right hand and the disbeliever will be given his book of deeds or her deeds in their left hand. And then the scale ويوضع الميزان بما يعرف به المقادير الأعمى من خيره وشره. So the the measure the, the scale that measures whether an act has been good and acceptable or bad or unacceptable that will be placed there in the day of judgment. And then the sirat, the sirat, يوضع السرات the 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 traverse or the path, uh, the bridge. 
will be placed or stretched over the top of the hellfire. Matan Jahannam. Tamurra alayhi al khalai. And all creatures will pass over it, will walk over it. Some will cross, you know, kalbarq um, in a lightning type fashion. For minhum kalbarq. I don't know, speed of light or however you, you want to translate it. But phenomenal speed. And others will, will, will pass over it like the wind passes over something. They glide over it. Others will race across it. Others will glide across it like the wind. And then there are those who are, will be at a walking pace. Yeah? A walking, walking pace. Jawad al Musrah. Uh, sorry. Um, others will pass over it like Jawad al Musrah. Fast. Um, like animals, like steeds, like ha- the hurriedly, like in a, in a, in a, in a, like the galloping, like galloping. So some will pass like lightning, others will pass like the wind, and yet others will pass like galloping. Others will pass walking, kalmashi, and others will crawl like ants treading on the earth. And all this. على حسب درجاتهم and this, their speed will be according to their degree of faith and works according to their iman the quality of their strength of their iman and their amal their amal and وهذا بعد هول المؤمن this is going to be the most frightening thing for a believer on the day of judgment this crossing the sirat it's going to be the most frightening thing. For some, it's going to be a doddle. They'll be, they'll be going through it because of their faith and deeds. And others, it's going to be one of the most terrifying ordeals, afterlife ordeals. May Allah protect us and allow us to pass over it um, with the, the, the speed that his mercy allows. Then the author mentions يقول شفاعة المصطفى الشفاعة العظمى لفصل القضاء وورود حوضه صلى الله عليه وسلم إن طاق الجوارح حق والجنة والنار حق وهما موجودتان الآن ولا فناء لهما ولا لأهلهما أبدا فإن الله سبحانه وتعالى خلق الجنة والنار قبل الخلق وخلق وخلق لهما أهلا يدخله أهل الجنة الجنة بفضله ويكرمهم بأن أن يريهم ذات ذاته تعالى وتقدس من غير كيف ولا تشبيه ويدخله أهل النار النار بعدله ويخرج منها من من عذب بذنب من المؤمنين إذ لا يخلد المؤمنون في النار ويجوز أن يعفو سبحانه بكرمه بشفاء عفوا بشفاعة النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم أو شفاعة بعض الأخيار بذنب لا بكفر فإن العفو عن الكفر لا يجوز سهي رحمه الله says وشفاعة المصطفى صلى الله عليه وآله وصحبه وسلم the, the, the intercession of the chosen one our, our messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, shafa'atul uthma, the shafa'a of our Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is the uh, greatest intercession. Li fasl al-khada. It is the, the greatest in intercession for the final hukum, for the final judgment ruling on that day. That's a reality. Shafa'atul Mustafa, haqqun. And the fact that it's a Shafa'atul Uzma, it's the greatest Shafa'a intercession, it's the magnificent intercession, that's a haqq. That's a reality, it's true. Wa wurudu hawdihi, haqqun. His, his um, watering pool or pond, 
is hawd. The blessed pool is a reality. The speaking of the body parts in taqul jawari haqqun. And they will be given power by Allah Azza wa Jal. They'll be given power by Allah Azza wa Jal to speak, speak. So it mentions it in Surah Al-Fussilat, لِمَا شَهِدْتُمْ عَلَيْنَا قَالُوا أَنْتَقَنَ اللَّهُ الَّذِي أَنْتَقَ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ وَهُوَ خَلَقَكُمْ أَوَّلَ مَرَّةٍ وَإِلَيْهِ تُرْجَعُونَ The skin that will testify against the, the bearer of the skin. قَالُوا لِجُلُودِهِمْ لِمَا شَهِدْتُمْ عَلَيْنَا The skin will be asked, why did you testify against us? قَالُوا أَنْتَقَنَ اللَّهُ كل شيء أنتقنا الله الذي أنتق كل شيء Allah gave us the power of speech like he's given it to everything وهو خلقكم he's the one who created you so these things are real we believe in their reality and they are not they are not irrational they are not nonsensical they're not illogical they're not incoherent they are real and true, and we take them as they are, without delving into deeply what the modality is. And, and Imam Ashur Bulali mentioned this. So he, he says, uh, haq, wal wal naru haq. Paradise and hellfire are real and true. And both are real and created and exist now. Neither of them will perish. وَلَا لِأَهْلِهِمَا أَبَدًا Neither hellfire nor, 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 nor paradise will perish, nor the, the inhabitants. فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَلَىٰ خَلَقَ الْجَنَّةَ وَالنَّارِ قَبْلَ الْخَلْقِ Allah created the heavens and uh, the, the, the paradise and hell uh, before he created anything. And then, وَخَلَقَ لَهُمَا أَهْلًا And then he created inhabitants for these abodes. He will um, enter those, he will enter the people of paradise, into paradise by his grace and his generosity. وَيُكْرِمُهُمْ بِأَنْ يُرِيَهُمْ ذَاتَهُ تَعَالَى وَتَقَدَّسَ عَنْ غَيْرِ كَيْفٍ وَلَا تَشْبِيهِ Allah will honor those inhabitants in, in paradise with his with, with, with vision of himself the beatific vision i.e. The, the believers will be able to see him and then this is, we, we don't know that the cave of this we don't, the, the author says we don't know the, the, the exact modality i.e. we don't know we don't indulge in, in, in how this is exactly because it's beyond the aql to be able to judge and we don't suggest any like this is this resembles anything like creation. We 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 accept it and we, we don't allow the mind the majal, we don't allow the aql, the majal, the area, the room to roam around and make judgments. This is not the place for the aql to try and understand. This is not the place for the aql to understand because it cannot understand it, because it cannot grasp realities that are beyond its, its judgment. But at the same time, we'll add tashbih. The author says, but we were not going to make any kind of um, corporeal comparison between Allah and his creation. So Allah will enter inhabitants of the hellfire with it based on his justice. Um, some of the believers, believers will enter only for a temporary time into hellfire on account of their sins, like because of their sins. And then they will be taken out of it once that punishment is served. If, why? Because a believer will never remain in the hellfire for eternity. Um, 
And then he says, It is possible for Allah to forgive and pardon those who are deserving of punishment due to the sins out of his um, out of his grace. Or he could allow it to happen or he can make that happen, the pardon, the afu, the pardon to occur through the intercession of his beloved alayhi afdalu salat wa atamu taslim. Or it could be done. Or shafa'ati ba'd al-akhyar. Or it could be through the intercession of some of the elite of the believers, the select of the believers. However, however, لا بالكفر, but not on account of kufr. فإن العفو عن الكفر لا يجوز. Um, you know, pardoning disbelief for 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 them for them. Um, is not permissible, i.e. Um, uh, no one can forgive kufr automatically unless Allah wants to give him that power, permission and power. But that, that haq, that entitlement, that right is, is reserved only for Allah Azza wa Jal. Those who are deserving of punishment because of their disbelief, they will not be pardoned by any of those categories, but i.e. of intercessory categories, i.e. those, i.e. the intercession of our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or the intercession of some of the elite, like the saints of Allah, the awliya of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. So the believers then will remain uh, in hellfire for eternity. And then he says, وَلَا نُكَفِّرُ أَحَدًا مِنْ أَهْلِ الْقِبْلَةِ بِذَنْبٍ مَا لَمْ يَسْتَحِلَّهُ وَنَعْتَقِدُ جَوَازَ تَكْفِيرِ السَّيِّئَاتِ بِالْحَسَنَاتِ قال تعالى إِنَّ الْحَسَنَاتِ يُذْهِبْنَ السَّيِّئَاتِ وَلَا يَجُوزُ أَنْ تُبْتَلَ الْحَسَنَاتِ بِشُؤُمِ الْمَعَاصِي إِلَّا بِالْكُفْرِ قال تعالى وَمَنْ يَكْفُرْ بالإيمان فقد حبط عمله وهو في الآخرة من الخاسرين ولا ت... ولا نقول لا يضر مع الإيمان ذنب لمن عمله ونرجو الجنة للمؤمنين المحسنين ولا نأمن عليهم ولا نشهد بالجنة إلا لمن أكرمه الله تعالى بدخولها نصا ونستغفره للمؤمنين المسيئين ونخاف عليهم ولا نقنطهم فإن الأمن والإياس ينقلان من الملة وسبيل الحق بينهما لأهل القبلة ولا يخرجه عبد من الإيمان إلا بجحود ما أدخله فيه So he says رحمه الله لا نكفر أحد من أهل القبلة بذنب We do not excommunicate or we do not um, uh, omit someone or you know, make someone exit the community or, 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 or lose their iman or declare kufr over someone from the Ahl al-Qibla, anyone who prays towards the Qibla, i.e. a Muslim who, who, a person who is considered a Muslim, they pray towards the Kaaba Musharrafa. Anyone who is like that, we don't declare takfir on them because it's on account of a sin that they do. So if a believer does a sin, commits a sin, we do not, we do not call them a non-believer. We do not call them a non-believer. Unless, unless, مَا لَمْ يَسْتَحِلَّهُ Unless that person thinks the sin that they've done is allowed. The sin that they've done is allowed and then been told that what their understanding is is a mistake. So even after they've been shown the proof that their understanding is wrong and is dangerous, then this is, this is kufur. To do a sin and to think a sin is allowed and even after being shown the error in that belief and someone is, 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 is uh, obstinate in that, then this is kufr. And we believe, he says, in the possibility of evil deeds being erased by good deeds. Here, takfir sayyat bil hasanat means um, the bad is wiped out by um, the good. So good deeds can wipe out or erase evil deeds or bad deeds. And this is based on the verse of the Quran, uh, the two verses of the Quran that the, 
the imam mentions good deeds cause evil ones to disappear and then the other uh a, a, a verse that he mentions there uh and then, and then he says, "Wala yijuz an an tubtala hasanatu." So it is not allowed. It's not permissible to. Um, it's not possible. Not permissible here. It's not possible for good deeds to be erased by evil sins, except the act of kufr, the, the belief of kufr. So no bad deed can wipe away a good deed. Wala 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 yijuz. أن تبطل حسنات بشؤم المعاصي إلا بالكفر. Only disbelief can wipe out good deeds. Otherwise, no bad deed or evil deed can wipe out a good deed. But a good deed can wipe out a bad deed. And this is based on the verse where uh, Allah mentioned, and whoever uh, uh, disbelieves, uh, his works are made zero, i.e., obliterated, and he's going to be among among the serious losers in in the akhirah. In the hereafter, ومن يكفر بالإيمان فقد حبط عمله وهو في الآخرة من الخاسرين. So, kufr itself destroys all good. Destroys all good. And then he says, he says that we do not believe, we don't maintain, ولا نقول, we do not hold. We don't say that a believer who has faith will not be harmed by his sins. We do not say that. His sins are harmful. His sins are harmful. وَنَرْجُوَ الْجَنَّةَ لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَالْمُحْسِنِينَ مُؤْمِنِينَ لِلْمُحْسِنِينَ And we have strong hope of paradise to be granted to all believers that are muhsineen, that are that have perfected their, 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 their deeds, their acts, their actions. Yet, yet, لا نأمن عليهم But we don't guarantee paradise for anyone. ولا نشهد بالجنة So لا نأمن عليهم ولا نشهد بالجنة إلا إلا لا نأمن عليهم ولا نشهد بالجنة إلا لمن أكرمه الله تعالى بدخولها نصا. So we 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 hope for paradise to be granted to all the believers who have perfected their acts, but we don't but we don't guarantee that لا نأمن عليهم but we don't guarantee that for them. We can't. No one has that guarantee. No one can carry that that guarantee. Second. Um, paradise cannot be guaranteed for anyone except except whom Allah honors um, with an entrance into it. Unless Allah has specifically mentioned, explicitly mentioned someone going to paradise, we cannot guarantee anyone that. But we have the strongest hope in Allah's mercy, justice, and goodness and bounty and 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 uh, compassion. Then he says, "Rahimahullah, wa nastaghfiru lil mu'minin al musi'in." We seek forgiveness for believers that commit sins. Wa nakhafu alayhim, and and we are fe- we are fearful for them because of those sins. However, we do not cause them to despair. La nuqannithum. لا نقنطهم. We don't make them, um, uh, you know, completely abandon hope in Allah's hope and mercy. Um, for both, uh, for in the amna wal iyasa yanqulan min al millati. وسبيل الحق بينهما لأهل القبلة ولا يخرج العبد من الإيمان إلا بجحود ما أدخله فيه. So this this belief of assuring absolutely someone paradise or excluding absolutely someone from paradise, these two claims or feelings um, 
believing in that can take one out of the fold of Islam. Um, so we don't guarantee, cannot absolutely guarantee someone paradise and we cannot absolutely exclude someone from paradise. So we have that balance between the two. We have pure utter hope uh, in Allah's mercy and love and justice and goodness and mercy and compassion. But yet, um, but yet we are not free from, um, we cannot guarantee that someone will, will be free from Allah's wrath, from his anger, from his um, vindicated justice. One, one can, can be taken out of the fold of Islam if one believes that. And then he says, Rahimahullah, um, that a, a servant cannot be considered a non believer except if he denies that which originally caused him to become a believer. So whatever made him become a believer, believe in Allah, uh, if he negates that, then, only then, is a the person taken out of the fold of Islam. So whatever brings someone into the faith, if they negate that, then that, is, that means they have forfeited their iman, their faith. So then he says... Um, Yeah, so on this passage then, he's talking about, you know, sins and, and, and what balance there is to have between being hopeful in Allah's mercy and, you know, knowing that Allah, on one end, Allah will vindicate himself through his retributive justice, but on the other hand as well, his compassion <clears throat> and mercy. So the, the haqq, he says, there's the, 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 between absolute guarantee and, and absolute despair, there's a kind of middle way between the two. There's a psychological balance to have between the two. So we cannot be um, too lenient on either side. We don't want to shut the door of mercy, but yet we don't want to say anything can pass through. <clears throat> so we will end it there. وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وآله وصحبه وسلم So we covered today in this third session up to we covered the, the, the topic of sin and, and, and kufr or, or sins and disbelief and in our fourth lesson بإذن الله تعالى next week we'll carry on um, looking at uh, this this section to do with belief and disbelief. And we're looking at like matters of destiny and facilitation and the divine decree and these matters. So I'll leave it for any questions or comments if anyone has any. If not, uh, we will close it here. Okay, in that case, we will... Resume bi'ithni lahi ta'ala for our fourth session reading the book Maraqi al Sa'adat. Um, next time, a, a, a next week, same time. Um, in, in the meantime, we request your du'as and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept our, our efforts in reading this text. Any mistakes, as always, is mine. And, you know, I'm sure there's many mistakes that have been made. Um, in, 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 in these episodes, of course, uh, and open to, to, to being reminded for these, uh, um, open to be corrected. And I, I remind myself, uh, uh, that, you know, this, this wretched soul, this, this, this weak servant, um, is not, uh, the best person placed to be reading the text, um, of Imam Ashurun Bulali and, 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 and to teach it. But, and I, I ask Allah that you overlook my, my very many shortcomings and I ask for you to make dua to Allah to give you and I 
all of us Tofia to have sound creed and to, uh, to avoid anything that will harm our creed. I mean, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Narakum ala khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.